2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Falcon Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and it's a hello to Henny Koyak down on the course following our featured group today. Hi Luke, I'm pleased to be following this featured group as there are rumours of quite a rivalry kicking off between these two players. And so this week, Henny, they're vying to beat Tony Finau. This should inspire some brilliant play. Oh, Tony Finau will not be letting up this week, Luke. But he's such a nice guy, you almost don't want to beat him. I mean, it's tough, but you must. I don't think you're going to outdrive him, that's for sure. But I am play. Oh, maybe you can get him there. You have to putt well, though. Tony Finau might be a big, cuddly teddy bear, but when it comes to playing on a golf course, he's going to try and strangle you to death. Good luck trying to beat Tony Finau. There is literally no weakness in this man's game. Now he knows how to win. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Well, what are we looking at here, Henny? Sitting up here from about 160 yards. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Playing within their comfort zone there. Now, long range putt coming up here. It'd be good to make a bomb, wouldn't it? A little birdie look in here. Get the fist pump ready. This looks like it's going in. And this one is for his par. Starting the round at even par. Nothing wrong with an opening par, just easing their way into this round. Let's check in with our man on the ground, John McCarthy, for our course report. John, what will Foxhole Golf Links be serving the players this week? Well, Luke, I think Fox Home Golf Links is going to be serving up some birdies, maybe a side of eagle. Uh, the course really is right in front of these players, and what you see is what you get. Uh, not a whole lot of tricks to it, so I think people are going to be firing at these flags all week, and uh, I'm going to sit back and enjoy that. Hopefully the folks at home will as well. Looks like they've got the five wood. All right, he's going with a little extra club, gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. Pretty good shot there. And let's have a look at Tony Finau. It's been neck and neck. He's actually tied with his rival. This is tough. Can he do it? Oh, I thought that one was going in. Let's return to live play now. 13 feet to the hole. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Gives a good chance to maintain the momentum. Going with the five wood. Yeah. 
and he's safely on the green. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Setting up this putt 14 feet from the cup. All right, guys, this for two birdies in a row. This is on a great line. A wonderful putt. We can claim it. Back to back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. At minus two, going along nicely today. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. on that one. Woof. Second shot here on the fourth. And from the green side rough here. Chance to move into the top ten on the leaderboard here. Wonderful shot. And that will take him to three under. Setting up miles from the hole. This is what they have left for birdie here. Come on, ball. Don't deny him. Oh, the long-range bomb. Is there anything better in the game? Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, that celebration, that's a little spicy. I don't know if these two are going to be talking now. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Here we are at the fifth hole of Fox Hole Golf Links. 424 par four from the tips. And only the really long players in the game are going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right-hand side. The shorter player is going to have to hit it out to the left-hand side with maybe not quite a driver. But from there, it's really just a flick of a second shot as this hole is just 424 yards. I'm thinking that every player is looking at this as a birdie opportunity. Well, I'm sure it looked better in their mind before they hit it. Usually Tony Finau is the tall order, but after that shot, I think beating it and getting inside it is the new tall order. What an approach. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And a spot in the top five also with that great shot. Just two shots back after that hole. Always the toughest hole in the game. A long par four. sure if they got that one flush this might not find the fairway well rich in the thick stuff here not a good spot to be
opting for the three wood. That's it. It's okay. Getting ready to play their third. Just two shots behind. Now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Didn't that look good for a long time? Ah, uh, that's a touch of class. Yes, very smooth tempo there on that chip. Just a tiny putt is all that remains. He's currently tied for third. Teeing off here at the seventh. <laughs> this looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Playing from around 150 yards here. Wind moving the golf ball left to right. This one could take a little bounce to the left. Yeah, not a bad effort, that one. Up onto the green and a chance to hold your putt. Putting for birdie here. It's a bit disappointing. Well, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. This is why you've got to keep your foot on the gas at all times. These guys and girls are good. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. to have chosen the seven iron well they'd love a little bounce to the right here yeah that was a safe play and let's have a look at tony fee now he's one stroke behind his rival in this event ouch that hurts that'll sting a bit let's catch up with the current proceedings this putt is for a share of second.
Gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Putting for par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. As we stride to the final hole of the outward half of Foxholm Golf Links, players will be licking their lips with this par five, measuring just over 500 yards. Yeah, this is a gift to end on. However, you got to find the fairway really to give yourself the best opportunity. Players are not going to be able to fly those bunkers down the right hand side. And if you hit it right of those trees come into play, bail out to the left. Give yourself a long iron second shot into this massive green. Lots of runoff areas all around this green. But what a great opportunity to end this front nine with possibly an eagle three. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. Downwind on this shot. Opting for the five wood. Just needs a little bit more of a kick to the right. Oh, I love this type of carriage, Rich. Going forward in two. Using the big muscles to get it home in two there. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah, it's just about three feet away. He's staring down a birdie putt here. And just with nine holes remaining, Rich, what do you think here is going to happen for this player? Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out. Not a bad line, this one. And what's in front of them there, Henny? The wind is at their back on this one. Seems to have chosen the three wood. Yeah, this one is uh, veering off a little bit to the right. Wow, what a shot. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones right on eight feet. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. This one's looking good. Oh, birdie with big wings. Great putt. And that will take him to seven under. He's currently in a share of top spot. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Time to tee off on the 11th. An eagle on the last hole for this player. Let's see if they can't build on the momentum they've created. That one was fired out of a cannon.
Well, Rich, this won't come as a big surprise, Miller, because there's a lot of people talking about this player. They've been performing beautifully all season, and many think they can win this event. It's never a surprise when you speak this player's name. They've been so good all year long. They've got to be one of the favorites, not only for this tournament, but for also for the season-long FedEx Cup. Going with the six iron here. And tidy looking shot, that one. Well, oh, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. And now over to Tony Finau. Now, who'd have thought we'd see this? He is behind his rival. Can he do the catching up that's necessary? Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The 12th hole at Foxholm Golf Links is a strong par three measuring 216 off the back tees. Luke, this is by far the scariest shot on this golf course. The runoff area to the left is severe. That golf ball will definitely run back into the hazard unless they catch a fantastic break. Players are definitely be bailing out to the right, but make sure you come up short and right because you want no part of that green side bunker. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Always frustrated by missing a green. Oh, the wind wreaks havoc with another golf ball. And he needs this to save par. Well done. Let's take a look at what Tony Finau's up to. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. marching to the top of the leaderboard let's take a look at the leaderboard the leader now has a one-stroke advantage well 13 it's unlucky for some rich Well done. Second shot here on the 13th. Yeah, well played. And a chance to reach nine under for the championship with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. That's disappointing. This is a par putt. Okay, let's head to the next. And let's have a look at Tony Finau birdied their last hole this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard
Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Let's begin the 14th. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. Playing from around 210 yards here. Currently in the lead by a shot. And here we are with the third shot. went down and here we are with their four he leads the field by a stroke He's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Oh, what a shot that was. Why don't we revisit the magic? Now two shots up after that one. Threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. Four against the wind to stick that one. OK, Henny, what's he looking at with this putt? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. by the hole. Good putters will make these. Right on five feet. Oh, 
Oh, what a stroke. That was a sensational approach, Rich, but it, you've got to feel like an opportunity was lost. Currently nine under for the round. Setting up now on a par four. T-shot is looking good here. And now over to Tony Finau. He's currently trailing his rival. Let's see what happens here. Playing now from the fairway bunker. shot almost went in the bucket and back to the play shall we and Henny what's he looking at here now he's eyeing up around 160 here Needs this one to kick right. Getting ready to play their third. He's currently tied for the lead. He holds it. What a putt. And let's have another look at that one. What an amazing putt from way out. And with that, he's now broken the tie, all alone at the top of the leaderboard. Here we have a short par four. Do you attack it and try and increase your lead, or do you lay back and play safe? I like to attack it. What do they like to do? Players setting up, trying to get up and down from the bunker.
on the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. And 11 under in front of the player with this putt. This is their look at birdie. goes down a nice display of resilience in the end well, that was a fantastic effort getting it up and down out of that bunker for the birdie let's take a look at what tony Finau's up to now, who'd have thought we'd see this he is behind his rival can he do the catching up that's necessary oh that was tidy that should ensure the up and down you better believe it is great stuff to watch our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Now on the tee, fresh off a of birdie, a great opportunity to build on that momentum. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Now the breeze has just got up. You see where the flags are flickering, and it's straight back up into this player. Going with a three wood here. Needs this one to kick right. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Just didn't drop. He's got a par out here. Let's see if he can make it. Nice line. And that signs off on today's round. And that'll do it. Lovely start to the opening round. In top spot, but there's a whole bunch of people right over their shoulder. It was a lovely round of golf. Lots of golf yet to be played, though. I'm interested to see how they handle the pressure. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.